Hello everybody, Lightning Armor here. Let's play. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This isn't actually a video game. What the fuck kind of game would this be, really? I thought that was a funny screen to start on, because, I mean, really, it's fucking hilarious. But anyway, this isn't going to be a Let's Play. This is... I don't have any fucking videos saved up or anything like that, so I'm not going to be uploading one today, probably. It's like Thursday, uh, February 6th, to fucking completely date this one, as you can fucking see right here. 3.01 p.m. Today, instead of playing a video game, I am going- I hope I'm fucking in frame. I'm gonna go and see a fucking movie, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna fucking record some stupid bullshit anyway, because, I don't know. I'm gonna try and fucking rip off Michael from Achievement Hunter. I'm going to chronicle my adventures today. So, first off, can't ignore millions of years of death and bloodshed. That was from the, uh, Bill Nye versus Ken Ham debate, just in case you were wondering. You should go watch that, because it's fucking hilarious. That guy is so... As you can see, I fucking got my stylish I'm Not Daredevil t-shirt on. Or not t-shirt, long sleeve shirt. How are people supposed to know how witty I am if I don't wear obscure jokes on my person, you know? Let's get this started. Whoosh. Keys. Check. Wallet. Check. Stylish sunglasses. Check. Other keys. Check. iPod. Check. Hulk hands. Check. Hulk piggy bank. Check. Water bottle. Check. Because you need to stay hydrated and water is good for you. It's in my nice Brita water filter bottle because you don't want to be drinking tap water because it's got, you know, fluoride in it and they put drugs in there and, you know, mind control the population, man. Cell phone? Uh, so the fuck is my goddamn cell phone? Just kidding. It's in my hand. I'm filming with it. Shoes. Check. Shoes on feet? Check. Now it is time to venture outside. Jeez Louise, it's fucking bright as shit. Wait. Mail. You're not allowed to see that though. Oh look, it's for someone who doesn't even fucking live here. That's a surprise. Uh, why yes, fucking sun is shining and it's bright as fuck, but uh, doesn't matter because it's Fucking like minus 16 out, which for any of you slobs who use fucking Fahrenheit, that's like I think like plus three or some shit like that. I don't know for sure because I'm not a fucking weather converter or something. Also, fucking wide angle of the truck. Oh yeah. Bet you're all fucking jelly as shit. Whoop! Ah, welcome everyone to my truck. There we go. Uh, not exactly the stylish motherfucker on the planet, but uh, gets me from A to B. Ah, uh, so yeah, here's my steering wheel, here's my passenger seat, here's my wampa arm fucking, if that'll even focus on there, yeah, wampa arm snow scraper, uh, courtesy of fucking thinkgeek.com. It's pretty much fucking the coolest thing ever. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna film myself, well, wait, I'm not gonna film myself fucking driving because it's like an hour to where I need to go to see this movie because uh, the movie that's in town here or the theater in town here uh, doesn't is only like fucking three or four cine cinemas in it or whatever individual like theaters auditoriums whatever the fuck they're called I don't know it's a fucking technical terms I'm not a fucking rocket surgeon or some shit but anyway uh, so yeah, I'll fucking pick this shit back up when I get there, but obviously I'm not gonna fucking, like, try and mount my phone somewhere in this fucking truck and, uh, you know, film myself driving, because that's just fucking stupid. I'm probably gonna listen to fucking the new episode of Welcome to Night Vale on the way there. When I say new, I mean it came out, like, last week, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, but, uh, gonna get around to it now, so that's gonna happen, and I'll fucking... Like I just said, pick this shit up when I get to the theater, and then we can go on an adventure there. Hopefully I get there in fucking time. But anyway, this is happening, so fucking get used to it. And again, hopefully my fucking stupid face is in frame, because, uh, would you really want to miss out on this? As it turns out, you can flip the fucking camera around, but you have to stop the video in between times when you do it, and then press the thing on the screen, and then it'll flip it to the front one, which I'm using right now, so I can actually see my stupid face, so I can position it properly, and 
you know, fucking that doesn't affect anything or really matter at all. I just thought I would point it out, so, you know. First stop on the agenda, though, gotta get gas because, uh... Mm -mm. Empty as fuck. Almost empty as fuck. Regular because fucking, uh... Open the gas tank. Fucking thing. Get regular because fucking, uh, you know, Supreme is like, you know, a whole four cents more and that's just fucking ridiculous. I'm fucking paying for it on credit card anyway, but you know. Any day now. There we go. So Sometimes you go to gas stations and they don't have the little fucking clippy thing on there that fucking keeps your, uh, keeps the fucking handle, you know, pulled back so that uh, you gotta sit here and just like fucking you know, chug the gas in by yourself, but, uh, fuck those places. It's cold out, so I'm going back in the truck. Ooh, uh, ooh, yeah. Nice and fucking mildly toasty. Except not really, because I only fucking turned the truck on, like, three minutes ago. You were there. You saw it happen. And, uh, so yeah, this whole thing is extremely experimental. Uh, I've never, ever really filmed anything before, like, like, actually, like, me filming it. Like, obviously, I've fucking filmed things, like, gameplay and shit like that. Obviously, you know. You've watched my videos. Who hasn't, right? <laughs> anyway, so, I don't... This is probably gonna fucking be shit. Nobody's gonna watch it, but... Fuck it, you know. Doing it anyway. It's a new thing to try. And what is life if it's not full of... Experiments? And... Also truck was still on and I was fueling up. That's dangerous. Your truck could fucking explode on you because the fucking motor is running and there's fuel being pumped in and it could just like <clears throat> ignite. I, f <clears throat> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But anyway, gas pumps always have the fucking little no smoking, turn off your vehicle, no cell phones fucking signs because it's all like, you know, cell phones are going to cause the fucking fuel to ignite or whatever, even though Mythbusters disproved it, so it's fucking stupid and doesn't make any sense. Also, I gotta try fucking doing this at a higher angle, because, like, I'm filming it from down here, and I feel like you can just, like, see my... you know? Boop. Gotta get every last drop. 68 fucking bucks. Wait, no, $78 for 68 liters. Liters are basically what uh, Canadians call gallons, in case you weren't sure. Anywho, now that I got my fucking fuel, uh, fucking uh, seatbelt, I will see you cunts in about an hour, 45 minutes, however the fuck long it takes to, for me to get there. For you, it'll be fucking, I can't snap with my left hand, fucking instantaneous, because, you know, the magic of video editing and all that stuff. Also, I hate doing this because I just feel like I'm not in the shot and I'm like probably pointing off at, a, at the fucking roof or something like that and you know blabbering but uh anyway like I just fucking was I was turning the phone around but anyway so uh yeah journey is actually legitimately starting this time and I will fucking see you when I'm fucking there so turn that back on again fucking oh check that shit out Ooh. Yeah, boy, gotta get that fucking fuel. So, here we are at fucking lovely, gigantic, fucking huge-ass Cineplex Theater in, uh, hopefully that's fucking on camera, in lovely Edmonton, Alberta, in case you were wondering where the fuck I was and why I had to drive to get here. Kind of bummed out at the second because, uh, could have sworn there was a fucking booster juice in the South Commons, but I guess there's not, so, uh, that sucks, because I was definitely gonna get a fucking booster juice before I went to the movie. Uh, make sure all my shit isn't gonna be where it's gonna be stolen. Lock the door, because you don't want to, you know, get your fucking vehicle broken into. Make sure I got my keys so I can get back in, sure do. Alrighty, let's fucking mosey. Also, being that I'm not used to, uh, you know, walking around talking to myself while you know, pointing a camera at things. I'm gonna try and at least make it look like I'm fucking not just blathering to myself and filming. I'm gonna make it look like I'm dicking around on my phone, but, uh, you know, looks like shit. I didn't even see the first one, but it just looks like crap. Doesn't need a second movie. Ugh. So many bad cartoons out nowadays. I don't even know why. Fucking, that one might be good. X-Men First Class was shit, but I don't know. Brian Singer might be able to do it better. So what kind of posters we got here? Fucking French fries. I don't know what that is. Some shitty horror movie. Fucking Hunger Games. Bleh. I don't know what the fuck that is. Burgers. Shitty cartoon. Black people. 
Joaquin Phoenix with a mustache. That movie, fucking fantastic. A plus, do recommend. That, didn't see it. Looks like crap. <sighs> Frankenstein, that looks like shit. Jack Ryan. Uh, I don't know, it's got Kevin Costner in it. I don't know, Tom Hanks, it's gonna be Oscar bait. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. But you know, fucking, he wasn't a dragon, he was a wyvern, so it's shit. Fucking crappy romantic movie. There's fucking reflection glare coming off the goddamn marquees, but oh well. Uh, then that one, it's pretty fucking amazing. Saw it already, but uh, well, I guess I may as well just come out and say it because we're fucking here already, but that's the movie I'm gonna go and see today. Tickets. Ooh, where the fuck are we? Frozen 3D. Sensor's warning, it's ready to fucking general. Why do we need a fucking sensor's warning for that? Boop, boop. Holy fuck. These things seriously just don't work. Frozen 3D. Um, fucking not any of that shit. Whoop. Whoops. Fix that. Nobody saw it happen. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, yeah. That's a 3D one. You need a 3D glasses. It doesn't start for another half an hour or something. Oh, this way. Number 10. Thank you. Fucking getting hassled right in front of the door. My fucking sunglasses inside was dumb, so... <clears throat> Gotta go back to my fucking truck. Put the goddamn stupid sunglasses back in my truck and then go back inside and hopefully not get fucking mugged by that dude again because, I mean, I've already got my ticket. I don't need to go to the box office. So, I don't know. It's never fucking, I don't know. I've never been fucking gotten a guy at a theater fucking flexing on me like that. He's all like, yo, man, you got your fucking ticket? I'm like, yeah, I got it right here. He's all like, yeah, okay. It's over this way. I'm like, it's fucking like four o'clock or like, I don't know. I fucking don't know what fucking time it is because I don't wear a watch and... Uh, fucking, it's not displaying time on my phone because I'm fucking using it as a camera right now, so. <laughs> fucking, yeah. There we go. Also. four twelve. Movie starts at fucking 4.35, so yeah, there's still like fucking 15 minutes left. So this guy's all like, yeah, three years over there, go and fucking whatever. And I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out. What if I want to get some snacks first? What if I gotta take a piss? Which I kinda do, so, uh, I'm obviously not gonna fucking... There's probably, like, laws, I guess, against bringing fucking recording devices into bathrooms, even though every fucking phone on the planet has a goddamn camera on it, so... It's not like they can exactly just say, like, no cell phones in the bathroom or whatever. But, that being said, I'm not gonna take the phone to the bathroom with me. That's just silly. Need for Speed, Aaron Paul, one of the fucking best actors in the world. If anybody hasn't seen Breaking Bad, then you're a chump. Doing a fucking Need for Speed movie, that is just, that is still kind of just ridiculous to me. No the fuck am I? I'm in like 10, frozen, yeah, right there. Whoosh. Zoom action, except holy shit, that's terrible quality. I don't need any goddamn snacks, but I'm gonna fucking get some because, you know, fatty, fat, fat. New Robocop, probably gonna be shit. This movie looks fucking awesome. I don't get what the point of that is. I guess you can, like, stand there and pretend that you're holding that shield. I don't know. Whatever. That movie looks pretty cool. Fucking Nazis stealing people's pictures and stuff. Uh, fucking shit. Fuck. Uh, George Clooney. That's the one I was thinking of. Ugh. I don't understand what's supposed to be happening. They got these fucking chairs just, like, sitting here. Yeah, nothing. So clearly, I'm not gonna be taking the phone into... Well, I mean, I'm going to be taking my phone into the theater because, you know, it's going to be in my pocket because fucking what else am I going to do with it? I'm not going to just fucking throw it out. I'm not going to be fucking recording anything while I'm watching the movie because, come on, I'm not a fucking animal. So, like I said, this is just, this is an experiment. I'm testing things out because typically it's pretty fucking, I think it's not exactly common for people to just be walking around filming everything they do yet, even though everybody has a fucking camera on them. 100% of the time, so, you know, whatever. I'll fucking be back with you in, I don't know, whenever the fucking movie's done, and then we'll fucking continue the adventure then. <laughs> Disney's motherfucking Frozen. This movie's amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, it's probably fucking too late, because it's like almost done its theater run. This is like one of the last fucking places in town it's playing anyway, so, you know. Had to see it one more time before it went out, because I saw it late last, like, it was like a couple of, it was out for like two months or something like that before I even saw it, so you know, gotta fucking, 
get that as mu- get as much of it into me as I can. Got my fucking water because you know soft drinks are a fucking joke. Who drinks those? Come on, it's just pure sugar. And then also you know chocolate covered raisins because they're fucking delicious. And you know I'm not a goddamn. I'm not some kind of fucking guy who's not gonna eat chocolate raisins. Who the fuck does that, right? I keep on, because the fucking, I don't know, I should have this on my face when I'm just talking, but here's the floor, you know? Cinema 10. Anyway, like I said, not gonna fucking bring the phone, not gonna record shit inside of the fucking thing. Frozen 3D, 435. It's like 420 right now. Blaze it up! Or like 425, I don't know, 10 minutes, something like that, but yeah, fucking getting in there. I can assuredly say it was even better the second time. Seriously though, fucking A-plus movie. Uh, not fucking nowhere near the best Disney movie since The Little Mermaid, or fucking whatever people are saying, but it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fucking good. You probably think, well, that's the end of our adventure outside, but uh, you're fucking wrong. You're not even remotely close to being right. I'm now going to a different movie theater to watch another movie. What? Damn straight, Nucka. Gotta do that again, so truck, driving, no phone, because that's dangerous, you hear? Lights. No, that doesn't, no, that's almost worse. Anyway, frozen down, two more movies to go today. What are they gonna be? You'll have to wait and find out. Boop. Ooh, it's fucking chilly out. It's probably way below fucking minus 16 at this point. Could go up the stairs there and everything, but uh, gonna go in entrance 55. Famous West Edmonton Mall. At least I think it's world famous. Wasn't it like the fucking biggest mall in the world at some point? Check it out, over here we got some fucking Be Nice to Africa exhibit where they tell you about, you know, child soldiers and stuff like that. Very tragic. Can't worry about that right now because fucking Lego movie poster, which looks amazing. Probably gonna actually go and see that tomorrow because I'm pretty sure it comes out tomorrow. Gay vampire movie. Escalator time. Uh, also, point of fact, people who fucking stand still on escalators are pretty much the worst human beings on the planet. Uh, and, you know, walk up the fucking escalator. It's called a fucking escalator. It's supposed to escalate you. Who's that beautiful man right there? It's Jay. What's up? Doing? I'm making movies. What are you doing? Masturbating. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. <laughs> That's right, Akira. You filming your beautiful journey of the day? I actually am. That's the entire plan. Nice. Hello. Because I was like, hey, I. Fucking, yeah, I'm not playing any video games that I'm gonna record today, so I decided I'm gonna fucking film myself walking around doing absolutely nothing like a knob. You're best. I thought so. I'm totally not, I'm like pointing the camera at the floor right now. That's okay. I'll keep it focused on your lovely flowing locks. You're a nice guy. <laughs> I thought so. I've napped for like seven hours today. Dude, that's awesome. I wish I could nap for I that long. I seven, and then I like, I went back to bed at 8.30 until 1.30. That's awesome. And then I was up for like three hours and went back to bed again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Dude, fucking... I honestly wish I could just sleep. I wish that was my job. If I could get paid to s- just sleep all day, I would. In the show, Akira. One of two down. Akira was obviously fantastic as usual. I mean, I don't have to tell you how good Akira is. Everybody fucking knows how good Akira is. Ghost in the Shell is next, and in my opinion, the better movie, just because I'm, I got way more of a hard-on for that kind of cyberpunky, future-y fucking robots and cyborg tits kind of thing. So, I mean, Akira's great, but uh, Ghost in the Shell is... I enjoy it more, and I've only... I've seen it less, so it's still a somewhat fresh experience for me. Also... DiCaprio, so sexy, right? My phone is running out of storage, so the fucking, there's probably gonna be less and less of these as the evening progresses. But when I get home, I'll fucking do a nice little wrap up thing, so double water. Back in the truck once again. On my way back home, Ghost in the Shell is over, A+, except apparently it was like some fucking remade version so that they had one or two scenes where the bitch is all done in CGI for no reason whatsoever, so I don't know, that was kind of... Anywho, like I said, the fucking storage on my phone is getting used up like a motherfucker from doing these. 
because I don't have like an SD card or anything like that. So I'm just gonna fucking, this is like a little fucking journey's over kind of thing. Head back home, finish it all up, and then, you know, cartoons all motherfucking day. Disney, some Animu, some fucking, well, that's it, but you know, you know. Boosh! And here we are at the end of the miraculous journey from today. Mm. To go and see fucking movies and shit. It's fucking like 12.32, started this whole adventure at 3.01 as I pointed to at the computer screen. I'm doing this on my webcam now, so I can't just, well, I mean, I could, but... Fuck that. Saw Frozen again. Great movie. Go see it, if it's still in your theaters anywhere. Saw fucking Akira again, for like the billionth time. Still good. Again, I don't need to fucking tell you people that Akira is good. If you know what Akira is, of course you're gonna, you know. Unless you don't like Akira, then I mean, you know, whatever. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but you're objectively wrong. And then Ghost in the Shell again, which I've seen once before, so it was a real treat to be able to see that again. Although, like I said, uh, there was fucking random CGI parts in it that just really kind of caught me off guard. But, you know, fucking oh well. But yeah, like I said, I like Ghost in the Shell more than Akira, just because my personal favorite brand of science fiction is the whole kind of like cyberpunk, cyborgs, cybernetic human enhancement kind of stuff and frankly it's got a lot like cooler and more like intense psychological deep shit you know you know existential bullshit that kind of stuff just gets me fucking hard anyway as i said multiple times throughout this day this whole th thing it was just, I, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to accomplish jack shit today because I'm going to be in fucking city all goddamn day watching movies. So why don't I try and do something? I, I hesitate to say creative, but uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to fucking do anything like that again. I might. I might not. Who the fuck knows? Not me. But uh, feedback would definitely sway whether or not I did any of that again. If people were all like, hey, that was cool, I dug that, you should do more of that, I might be like, eh, yeah, well, there's a reason to do it again, or, you know, not saying that I'm going to do whatever you tell me to, because I'm not a fucking puppet, man, you can't control me. But, you know. You know. But yeah, so, fucking the adventures of me going to see movies... I, you know, there you go. I don't know what else to say. I'm probably going to end this on a screen of that fuck suffering disease and bloodshed picture again because it's fucking hilarious. And again, I highly recommend you watch the Bill Nye versus Ken Ham debate. Bill Nye's a cool guy, but like, it's like, it's kind of, it's worth it for a laugh too, just because I'm not going to get into it, but you know, you know. Uh, I almost feel like I should fucking. Because this is all about me going to see movies, I almost feel like I should be talking about movies. But, uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, again, I, I really don't know what to say. Uh, Frozen is really great. I don't know if I even like it more than Wreck-It Ralph, because Wreck-It Ralph was pretty fucking cool. But it is really good movie. Elsa is, like, one of the most compelling characters I've seen in a, like, cartoon movie in a while uh again akira like what is there to say it's been around for like fucking 20 something years uh, wait yeah something i i don't know i can't do math off the top of my head i'm stupid and then yeah ghost in the shell uh is fucking great because it has cyborg tits so you know pff, what's not the like <laughs> right also i'm looking at myself on the screen, not at the camera, so, you know, uh, but yeah, fucking, I'm not a critic, I'm not a movie reviewer, I could, I could fucking probably babble at length about them, but you don't care about that, and if you do, then, you know, maybe I could do something about that, I'm not saying that I would, but you know, but yeah, so, uh, that was rude, I'm sorry, I apologize, uh, Peace out. I hope you had a wonderful day as well because 
I had a decent day. And on death. <laughs>